this breakdown episode is going to be discussing stick chokes. So if you're familiar with martial arts that deals with grappling, there's empty hand chokes, but you could also use your weapon as a choke. So I'm just going to use the stick as a reference. Now if we square off from here, this goes around underneath my armpit. Notice that my, my hand goes underneath and I go right in his neck. So I form this triangle. So this is choke one. Notice that I'm pulling here and I'm keeping this tight. I don't want this flaring out, okay? So from here, again, turn around, let's go right here. This one slides right on his neck, right, not, uh, right against his carotid artery. I squeeze and I pull and I tighten it up at the same time. So from here, stick choke one, okay? Another variation, so instead of going here, I go on the opposite armpit. So again, goes around his head. This now goes underneath my right armpit. Same thing with my left hand. I go right on his neck. So if I turn around, notice that my left hand goes and it locks right here, right on his neck, carotid artery. I drop my elbow. I slide this in at the same time and I squeeze. All right, so that's automatic. Another one, it's a backhand thrust. If you're able to get into this position, notice that my forearm is going to go underneath his throat. Stick is going to go against the side of his neck. My left arm is going to go on his left side of his shoulder. So from here, I'm going to reduce the slack if I can. And then I squeeze and I pull him towards me until he taps. Okay, so that's another stick choke. Another one, the fang choke, where if I'm able to get him on the side, I'm going to use the butt end or the puño right at his neck or his throat. So I'm going to get him tight and I'm going to use my left hand to drill this into his neck. So right in his carotid or his throat, the fang choke is right here. Okay, doesn't take much. So keeping in mind that, you know, some of these chokes will be difficult to pull off um, if you plan on doing this in real time. Notice that when the opportunity presents itself, see if you can experiment with these chokes using anything. So this can translate to a crowbar or a baseball bat. Make sure that when you're practicing with your partner that you're careful um, just because if you're using these sticks or any type of weapon, it could be more damaging than just your empty hand chokes. So those are different variations of stick chokes. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down in the comment box below. I'm Jesse Santiago with FMA Pulse. See you next week.